Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick, and today we are talking about the Shopify cart, specifically about adding text to the Shopify cart so that we can customize orders. Now there's a few different places that you can do this, and today we're gonna look at one, but the logic should carry through to the other places should you need them. So let me give you an example here. Let's say it's Mother's Day, and I have this customized field that allows me to make this order a gift, and I'm gonna gift it to Emily. If I add it to cart, we're gonna see that we add this attribute, gift to Emily, so that when this order is being fulfilled, we can add this to the box. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, very quickly, I wanna just go over the three different places that we can update the cart here with text. The first one, I just showed you the attribute. So the, the attributes are used to store custom information um, that apply to the entire cart or the entire order rather than individual items. So this could be like custom instructions, delivery preferences, or in this case, um, a gift tag for the order. There's also within the line items, a field called properties. And right here it's empty, but you're also able to add custom information about this specific product. So say I wanted to add the option to add your initials or something to this snowboard. Well, maybe we'd want to add that to the property so that it's tied to the specific SKU. Um, and then there's also something called note. And the cart note is kind of a catch all where you can add more than just maybe like a line. It's a note from the customer. It could be like specific instructions. Uh, full gift messages, things like that. So it's kind of similar to this attribute. And you can actually do that without writing any code. I feel like I should show you this. If you come into Customize Theme on most of the free Shopify themes, I believe this is an option. You can come into the Customizer, Theme Settings, and then if you come down to the cart, you're going to have this checkbox to enable the cart note. And what that means is when you navigate to the cart page, uh, maybe I need to add something to the cart first. You're going to see this right here. And if I add something here and click on check checkout. Um, and then I'm going to fetch the cart so that we can view it real quick. Cool, you're gonna see this note right here. So that is also an option if you wanted to add this to the checkout or excuse me, to the cart page. It kind of comes out of the box. I personally don't love the UI or the user experience of this either, but that is an option. So now I'm gonna dig into <clears throat> actually adding the text field and how we can update this attribute. Now the goal for this particular uh, feature I'm building is to see within the product page, I wanna add this text box right in here so that when they're adding the cart, it's kinda like a part of the process here. So if we look at this, I can see that this uh, template product information, this is kinda where I wanna add a block to add to this, kinda like these other um, blocks exist. So I know that this is gonna be in the main product, so I'm gonna come into the main product here, and then I'm gonna make some changes. So in the section main product, I am going to scroll down to nearly the bottom where we have the schema and keep going. Okay, here we go. And then you see in the schema, we have these blocks, this block array right here. And we have several starting out with this, which allows us to add uh, app blocks. But I'm going to come right here and I'm going to add a new block. And I'm going to type this out. Okay, Whew. now if I save this, hopefully I don't have any issues, and I do, of course. And it looks like I put the colon in the wrong spot. Phew, okay. All right, so now that we have our schema created, now keep in mind the schema is what's gonna allow us to see this in the customizer so that when we go to add a block, it'll be there. But uh, we need to actually add the HTML liquid portion to this. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, I've looked at this file already, so I'm a little bit familiar, and I know where it is that I wanna put this in. Um, did that based on looking at here and trying to figure out where I want it, which is above this add to cart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up for a spot in the code, and this is in the Dawn theme, right above this when pop-up. Now this when is happening, it's looping through. Um, see if I can scroll up to the top here, but it's essentially looping through all the blocks of this section and checking for uh, the instance of that particular block. So what I wanna do is, if I can find where I was, all right, I'm gonna add some code here. I'm just gonna copy and paste this in. And all the code for this is available in um, the description, a link to the GitHub before and after code. All right, so now if we save this, we're in a pretty good spot except 
it's not styled. So we want to add some style real quick. So I'm going to copy this again from the code. Um, but uh, again, check the link in the description. And I'm going to find the end style tag. And right below here, I'm going to paste it. So we're just adding a height. We're centering the text, giving it a font size, um, all that jazz. All right. Now, the last thing that we need to do is add our JavaScript to make this um, actually add to cart. So if we save at this point, we should be able to uh, add this to the customizer. Let's test that out. Awesome. OK, so there it is. Um, now, the only thing that we're missing, though, is the actual JavaScript required to add this to the card itself. So if I come back to the code here, I am going to copy some JavaScript here. And then I'm going to go to towards the bottom of the file. Oof, past all of the schema. And then I'm going to add this script tag. Looks like there's a script tag right there. So I'm just going to add below this. All right, cool. And you can see the first thing we're doing is we're waiting for the window, uh, the, the DOM to fully load. And then we are creating this um, function that has the Ajax API from Shopify to update the cart with the attributes and the new attribute that's being passed from this target selector where we're looking at that input, grabbing the value, and then sending it to this function through the API. So uh, just a heads up as well, I learned from testing, if you ever want to remove the value of, an, of the uh, attributes, you just have to send the key and an empty string and it will empty it. So there's a little pro tip for you. But if we save this now, and if we also save our cart attribute here, um, we, by the way, you can add this, maybe you wanna change this, Now, if we preview, and if we navigate to a product page, and it looks like I got my placement screwed up just a little bit because it's showing up at the bottom of the product page. So let me investigate that real quick. And silly enough, I just forgot to change one thing here. If I come back to the card attribute, I want to actually move it up right there. OK, and if I save now, and refresh. Cool. So we can see right here that it is there. Now let's make sure that it actually works. All right. And you can see if I print out the cart, here it is added to the attributes along with the item itself. So obviously there's some styling issues that I would address here, but this should give you the basic idea. Now there is one other little thing I wanted to add here that I found useful because a lot of times you may not want to have this showing for every single page or excuse me, for every other product. So we can add a little liquid hack here that will help us make, uh, make this appear only on the products that we specify without creating a separate template that we have to update twice. Now, all we have to do for this to happen is come back to the code. And if I come to this HTML right here, I am going to add a liquid conditional. And then make sure to close that. All right, so what the heck is this doing? Well, remember, liquid is server-side rendered, so that means before this even gets to the DOM, we are going to check if this product has any tags that contain this text box, or you can make this whatever you want. But this is what we're going to also add to that product's tags. Um, and if it does, then we know we want to sh uh, show this. Otherwise, we do not. So let me come out to the products now. And I will pick one product here, and I will add this uh, tag to. OK, it looks like I already did. So text box. Oops. So there it is, text box. And if once you add whatever name you choose there, um, if we saved our code and then if we view the preview, we should see it still here on that product. But if I go to another product, you'll see that it does not show. So this has been a quick tutorial on how to add text fields to your cart. Um, again, there's three different kinds. There's the cart note, the cart attribute, and then the specific line items. You'll want to make sure that you use whichever one is the best case for your needs. Um, but hopefully this gives you a good starting point. I want to make sure that I call out the code link in the description, as well as a link to my personal website, where if you want to stay up to date, stay in touch with uh, other Shopify tutorials, courses coming out, and a private Slack channel for uh, Shopify developers please uh, see that and fill out the form and stay in touch. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.